Welcome to Game Development for Beginners. Now in this course, we're going to be using the Godot game engine. Now the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to download the engine and go to godotengine.org forward slash download and then select your operating system. Now I'm using the Mac OS, so I'm going to go to this standard version here and download this. It's around about 70 megabytes or so. Now it downloads as a zip file. All you need to do is unzip the package. There's no installation. This is a standalone package. Now I recommend if you've downloaded into your downloads folder, if you're on a Mac like me, what I would recommend is to pop it into your application folder area. So here I have the Godot engine. I'm going to double click to open this. And the first thing we're asked here is, please confirm, you currently don't have any projects. Would you like to explore official example projects in the asset library? Now, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to cancel that. And I want to go over here to the right hand side and click on new project. I'm going to give my project a name. I'm going to call this one maze game. We're going to create a very simple maze game. I'm going to click on create folder. Now down here we have the rendering engine. It says for this left hand side one, we've got higher visual quality. This is not recommended for web games. So I'm not going to select that one. I'm going to select the one on the right. It works on most hardware and it's recommended for web games. So I'll click on create and edit. So here we have the Godot game engine. And just very briefly, I'll run through the panels on the left and right and in the center here. On the left hand side, we've got the scene panel and that's all the scenes and nodes. Down the bottom left, we've got the file system. On the right hand side, we've got the inspector. And in the center here, we have the game development area. Now I'm going to simplify things a little bit. We're going to be creating a 2D game. So there's no need for us to have this 3D window and we can get rid of the asset library as well. So I'm going to go into my editor, go to manage editor features. And in here, I'm going to create a new profile. So let's click on create a profile. We'll give it a name. I'll call this one 2D and click on create. And in my 2D profile, obviously I don't need the 3D editor. And you can see the 3D option disappeared from the top here. I don't want the asset library. I'm not going to be using that, so I'll turn that off. And then down here where we've got the nodes and classes, I'm going to scroll all the way down here, keep on scrolling until I see, there's one of these one, this special one. Now the special options here are to do with 3D. We're creating a 2D game, so I'm going to turn those off just to avoid confusion when we start creating nodes. Click on OK. So here we have the 2D environment. You notice that the 3D option and the asset library have disappeared from the top here. And also on my scene tree here over here, the 3D scene option has also been removed. In the center, we have this game window here. It's indicated by this colored line around the outside and it can be a little bit difficult to see. So what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit clearer is go to my editor, go to editor settings, and then scroll down until you find 2D. And the color you want to change is the viewport border color. Let's click on that. We've got the alpha channel here. I'm just going to drag that right to the very right hand side. I'm going to change my color probably to a little yellow color like that. And then we'll click on close. And that is a little bit easier to see. In fact, it's a lot easier to see. Now, if you're using a mouse, what you can do, you can use your scroll wheel and you can zoom in on this playable area. If you hold down the space bar on your keyboard and click and drag, you can reposition this game area as well. Now the game area currently, let's find the dimensions of this. There is a default size. We can find that in the project settings. So project settings, and we're going to scroll down here until we find window. 
and we see the size is 1024 by 600 pixels. Now I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to 1280. Let's change the height to 640. And then click on close. I'm going to zoom out a little bit again, reposition this using my spacebar and my left click. So we've got the Godot engine installed. We've created our project settings. In the next video, we're ready to create the background for our maze.